what actor actress played their role so well, you can never look at them the same. Nick Offerman as Ron Swanson. He basically is Ron Swanson in real life. Minus the major libertarian ideals. In my mind, Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark. I refuse to be convinced otherwise. Not really on topic. But he played his character so well in Tropic Thunder. I forget it's him. I first read the Harry Potter books as a kid before the movies came out. And loved them. Then the movies came out and I still love them. Recently decided to do a reread as an adult. It's been over 10 years since I read them. Reading them now I can't picture the characters looking any different than the actors who played them in the movies. I don't know how I pictured them before the movies came out. Rowan Atkinson as Mr. Bean. Paul Rubens, anytime I've seen him in a non-Pee Wee Herman role. All I can think is, there's Pee Wee Herman. I've never thought about it but I totally agree. It didn't even really dawn on me he must have a real name until I read this lol. Steve Carell will always be Michael Scott. But then again, because the office's popularity, I think most people have a hard time seeing the entire cast playing different roles. Steve Carell is especially weird playing serious roles. It just doesn't feel right. Edit, thanks. Guys. For naming over movies Steve did well in. He's still Michael Scott. I kind of agree. But he has done a really great performance in The Big Short. He showed how good he was in drama as well as comedy. Wonderful actor. Danny DeVito as Frank Reynolds. In my opinion. Every other actor on Sunny as well. Artemis. The waitress and Uncle Jack all featured in Brooklyn 99 and with the exception of the waitress. Their characters were pretty much the same. Uncle Jack was a lawyer. Artemis was an eccentric weirdo who is into tarot. The waitress played a doctor this time though and still. I kept thinking of her as the waitress. I have never seen the mick. Only short excerpts and it seemed like it was basically deliving her dysfunctional life but being a little more liked and respected by her friends. Hugh Laurie's house. I first knew him from Blackadder. Which was drastically different than the gruff American doctor he played on house and he did it so well that it's hard to see him as anything else. Recently watched Chance on Hulu Great Show BTW, and I still could only see him as House. Hugh Laurie in interviews is so different to the characters he plays. Shows how amazing he is as an actor. Much like Gary Oldman who is also very different from the character he plays. Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn. Elijah Wood as Frodo. Pretty much all the lot of characters are just those characters forever. I was going to say the same thing. Except for Orlando Bloom because depending if he has facial hair or not I see him as Will Turner for Pirates of the Caribbean. Carlton on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He can play anything else without that coming up. Jim Halpert. Awkward look at the camera. Hugh Jackman. The Wolverine. He's going to be Wolverine when I'm 70. Peter Dinklage. I read several of the Asoyath books before the series came out and already had a mental picture of what Tyrion looked like. But I can't remember what it was anymore. Because the Dink has utterly superseded it. Ned and Tyrion were immediately casted as Sean Bean and Peter Dinklage GRRM saw no one else fit for their roles. Daniel Radcliffe for Harry Potter. I just have to memorize so hard to get his real name. But then. I googled it. Deleted. Aubrey Plaza as April Ludgett. Doesn't hurt that the character was literally built for her. But also, without giving anything away, she's awesome in Legion though too. I sat down and watched the beginning of Misery the other night. Since I'd wanted to see it for a while but hadn't gotten around to it. I'd seen Kathy Bates in other films. But I'd heard her performance in Misery was something to behold. The reason why I stopped early was thanks to Kathy herself. I've seen plenty of creepy films before but I've never had to stop watching one midway. And I've never had to do so because of an actor's performance. Kathy Bates creeped me the fuck out and it'll be a long while before I sit down and finish the film. More or less see her in another movie. Okay how far did you make it? There's a scene in particular that's fucked up. You'll know if you saw it. Also if it's any consolation. The character in the book is worse. Edit. Thanks for the gold kind stranger first ever time being gilded. I would like to say Johnny Depp will always be Jack Sparrow to me. But then I don't even realize it's him in half his roles because he transforms so damn well. 
Tony Shalhoub will forever be Monk. But he did such a great job as Jack Jeeves and Mib. James Gandolfini's performance as Tony Soprano was a fucking masterpiece. The dude created a legit personality complete with idiosyncrasies and tics you notice the more times you watch the show. I remember reading an interview with him that most people who saw him out in the street just called him Tony. Rip. Neil Patrick Harris will always be Barney Stinson. Love the guy. He is always Doogie Howser to me. David Hyde Pierce will always be Niles Crane. Sideshow Cecil. Anthony Hopkins. Clarice. Oh no. Jeffrey from Game of Thrones. I don't know his real name. Edit. Joffrey. Not Jeffrey. Edit 2. Jack Gleason. Jack Gleason retired from acting when his time in Westeros ended. Sean Spencer and Burton Gusta. Sorry. I meant James Roddy and Dulla Hill. You know that's right. Jensen Ackles and Supernatural. He will always be Dean Winchester to me. He will still be playing the part in 20 years. Tatiana Maslany as Rachel Duncan would have definitely messed with my mind more if she did and somehow managed to play 12 other completely different characters on the same show, Orphan Black. I was looking for this. Heck yeah. Tatiana is amazing. Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. It's so conflicting for me. I either see him as the dad on Malcolm in the Middle or as Walter White. Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Now whenever I see him in other movies I'm just like hey there's Loki. I never looked at Jim Carrey the same after he started doing dramatic roles. Eternal Sunshine. The Truman Show. And Man on the Moon in particular. Through most of his work in the 90s. He was too loud and silly for me. And I was a kid. But I gained a lot of respect for him when he proved he wasn't a one-trick pony. It's hard to believe Ace Ventura and Joel Barish are played by the same guy. Jim Carrey has an upcoming show called Kidding and he plays children's TV host going through various personal issues so it sounds like it will be a perfect intersection of both styles. David Suchet as Poirot. Jack Nicholson. I can always see that the shining look on his face every time he smiles laughs. Here's Johnny. He played that so damn well. That BTS documentary really shows how much he got into the role at times. Like. All of the main friends cast. It's probably partially because they were all, if I recall correctly, pretty unknown when the show came out. But it's also because the characters are fairly archetypal. The writers were so good at sticking to those archetypes, while still allowing them to grow as people, that it really allowed the actors to settle in and become those characters. Imo. There are very few instances in the entire show where any of them really did or said anything out of character. Daniel Radcliffe will always be Harry Potter. Robert Downey Jr. will always be Iron Man and Harrison Ford will always be Han Solo. Let's face it Indiana Jones was almost the same character. Just a different setting. Harrison Ford is Harrison Ford. He plays all his characters as himself. David Tennant on Jessica Jones. I never watched Doctor Who so he's just slimy. Despicable Kilgrave to me. He was also Barty Crouch Jr. Russell Stringer Bell in The Wire Idris Elba. He's really, really good in Luther as well. It's like Stringer Bell just moved to London and switched sides. McLovin. Bob Odenkirk as Jimmy Magill Saul Goodman. Especially that episode of Mr. Show that Michael McKean guested on. Jim from The Office. Was weird to see him in a quiet place. Also weird to see him as a Navy SEAL turned hired gun in the Benghazi movie 13 Hours. Rise in it too. And it blows my mind. Deleted. Or Pennywise. Deleted. Don't you mean Emperor? Deleted. I've never hated anyone more. At least until Ramsey turned up anyway. Tim Roth in Lie to Me. That was such a good show. It ended too soon. Though I understand why it did. The hook was good. But there weren't enough other things in the show to hold the audience's interest beyond a couple of seasons. Kiefer Sutherland is Jack Boar no matter what I see him in. The Lost Boys? Vampire Jack Boar? Young Guns? Wild West Boar? Phone Booth? Psychopath Jack Boar? Designated Survivor? President Jack Boar? Dark City? Creepy Sci-Fi Jack Boar? Heath Ledger's Joker. Surprised I haven't seen John Heater as Napoleon Dynamite here. 
He's been in other great movies but I can't unsee Napoleon's derp. James Edward Elmos as Admiral Adama in Battlestar Galactica. Him and Jean-Luc Picard are probably my favorite sci-fi ship leaders. Deleted. Heath Ledger. Best Joker of all time. On screen. Maybe. But damn when I think of the Joker I can't get Hamill's voice out of my head. Hugh Laurier's house. When I heard his real accent at first I struggled to believe it was actually his. Ewan Ryan will always be Ramsey Bolton. I first knew him from Misfits. And as a result, when I saw him in a few other things, I expected him to be a bit of a wet blanket. Generally just or worse. Now, I expect him to be an evil prick. Rewatching Misfits. I can't even feel bad when other characters are mean to him. Christian Bale in American Psycho. He played the part so well. Bruce Wayne is just a variation of Patrick Bateman. Sean Young as Finkel Einhorn in Ace Ventura. Had a mad crush on her before watching that movie. Just watch Stripes again to rekindle those flames. Chris Evans will forever be Captain America. Johnny Storm first. I realize those films weren't well received but I like them and think they are a lot of fun. The most recent attempt at an F4 film was boring as all hell. I knew David Tennant as Barty Crouch Jr. before I knew him as 10. I knew him as 10. Barely recognized him as Barty Crouch Jr. And was having a mild panic attack through Jessica Jones. The first thing I remember seeing Rosamund Pike in is Gone Girl. And she killed it in that. I first saw Rosamund in the 2005 adaption of Pride and Prejudice as the shy. Sweet sister Jane. So it was freaky watching her in Gone Girl. Zach Braff in Scrubs. It was my first exposure to him. And in my eyes he's always J. D. That show was a joy from beginning to end of season 8. At least. Javier Bardem from No Country for Old Men. Scared the living crap out of me. I had nightmares. I could watch Eat Pray Love again but I don't know if would erase the horror. He's amazing. Emma Watson. She'll always be Hermione. Nope. He is not Simon Baker. He is Patrick Jane. Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler. Saru Creepy. Matthew McConaughey in True Detective. Honestly the definition of re-establishing yourself. He was on the path of becoming a shitty rom-com actor and then after True Detective he's one of the better serious actors in Hollywood currently. Michael Scott as Michael Scarn. And Jim Jimothy James Halpert will always be Big Tuna. Aaron Paul in Breaking Bad. Bitch. I am so sorry, Imelda Stanton. But I despise you. She played Umbridge. The main cast of Friends. And yes. Gunter and. Oh my god Janice. Ryan Reynolds will always be the Green Lantern to me. S. I know this isn't quite what you meant. But seeing Chris Pratt say anything serious weirds me out. Vincent D'Onofrio in every film. He'll always be Private Pile. He'll always be a roach stuffed inside a man. He'll always be Kingpin. I will never be able to recognize him walking down the street. I loved him on his Law and Order series. Jeremy Piven as Ari Gold in Entourage. Will Smith. As Will Smith. Because Will Smith. Is Will Smith in everything. I know people aren't a fan of Depp anymore but that dude somehow is someone else in every movie but at the end of the day he is Jack Sparrow. William Peterson as Gil Grissom in CSI. Sarah Michelle Gellar as Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Tom Ellis as Lucifer. Michael C. Hall as Dexter. Sean Astin. He will always be Sam even if he portrayed a rider dude in 51st Dates. Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. Patrick Stewart as Captain Picard. Deleted. Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday in Tombstone. Rachel McAdams will forever be Regina George. David Schwimmer as Ross and Matt LeBlanc as Joey and Friends. I can't watch Madagascar without hearing Ross's voice come out of a giraffe. Maris Kahajate and Christopher Maloney will always be Benson and Stabler. Ed Norton in American History X. Fucking hell. Jason Alexander is George Costanza. Ty Burrell is Phil Dunphy from Modern Family. If he is not exactly like Phil Dunphy in real life I will be surprised. 
Jennifer Connolly in The Ass to Ass Guy. Rain Wilson as Dwight K. Scroot. Sandy Duncan was so mean in Roots. I refused to watch her when she took over Valerie Harper's sitcom. Jason Isaacs. Saw him in The Patriot where he plays a sociopathic British soldier. Then saw him in Wind Talkers and couldn't figure out why I hated one of the good guys on sight. Only figured it out after the credits rolled. The dude who played Napoleon in Napoleon Dynamite. After that movie came out and he got more roles the only thing I ever saw in my head was Tina you fat lard come eat your dinner. Chris Pratt. He will always be Andy Dwyer to me. The Noxma girl. Rebecca Gayhart. That guy who played the live action Shaggy from Scooby Doo. I saw him in the Twin Peaks revival last year and knew I recognized him from somewhere. When he's being interrogated. You can hear the Shaggy in his voice. I just couldn't take him seriously after that. Jim Parsons as Sheldon Cooper. I will always and forever see Michael Keaton as Batman. Also Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday. Best one-liners in a movie. Ever. James Roday as Sean Spencer. I don't even like to watch interviews with him because it doesn't feel right. Don't know if it has been said yet. But Rain Wilson. Once you see him as Dwight in the office you can't see him in any other role. I saw him in The Meg the other day and during the film and it felt like to me that he was playing a rich white scroot who has suddenly developed an interest in marine exploration. Tom Hiddleston as Loki. General Kenobi. Terry Crews as Chris's father in Everybody Hates Chris. What about Killian Murphy from Peaky Blinders? Carol Burnett as Mies. Hannigan. I know she's a sweet lady in real life but I can't think of her without the image of her laughing like a crazy drunk coming into my mind. Every actor who played the Doctor on Doctor Who will forever be the Doctor. Even if they later become a fallen angel or Prince Philip or whatever. Glenn Close from Fatal Attraction. She went full crazy. You never go full crazy.